think what organizations lack is flexibility these days, and I think with the current climate and the and the Playwright Center included, quite honestly, it's it's going into its 40th season, so there's a little bit of institutionalization that just happens from age, uh, even though it's a pretty nimble organization in terms of its general structure has always been set up to respond to the needs of artists. Um, but there's only so much as after you get to the age of 40 and you have 13 people on staff and a certain size board that there's only so much flexibility you really have within an organizational structure to uh, to respond and adapt as, as the climate really changes. And I think the funding climate has certainly taken a left turn and the economic climate has certainly taken a left turn. And I think the smaller, more nimble organizations are able to navigate those roads it, Differently, I wouldn't say better, but differently, um, and really not cut programming, but tailor programming that works to the environment while still staying true to their mission. And I think that larger organizations are having um, a harder time doing that. That it that it's at a greater sacrifice to become that to um, to make those kinds of changes. And the center has certainly gone through transitions in the last 15 months uh, between uh, Polly Carl and. Uh, and now Jeremy Cohen coming in as uh, as the producing artistic director, um, and part of that I think is, is a, a part of Jeremy's new initiatives are to respond to what is happening in the field right now, and to and to reinvigorate the nimbleness of the organization in response to what the artist needs. There's been this call recently about uh, in Todd London's book Outrageous Fortune um, about how it's harder to make a career as a playwright and to really saying what the economics of being an artist are in this uh, in this day and age, um, different from 40 years ago when there was more institutional theater and that was really how playwriting existed, was in a regional theater model and there's just not that support for new work anymore. Regional theaters do more, more and more revivals, more and more tested material as, as opposed to the riskier... Uh, new works that, you know, again, responding to audience base and subscribers and subscriber erosion and etc. Um, and funding models. But uh, but I think Jeremy's real call to action is to try and put money into pockets of playwrights, and that's really what the Playwright Center has always been about, is trying to help playwrights have a career as a playwright um, in terms of not only fostering a home for the work, but also figuring out how playwrights make a living and how playwrights uh, how to help playwrights make a living and to have a number of granting programs um, and but I think the other thing that, that Jeremy's really excited about is our partnership initiative and uh, and that is really moving the play from this workshops which is what we do so well and partnering with theaters to say hey let's help you develop plays to production because that's really the end goal and I think plays also there's been a, uh, a lot of murmurs and buzz lately about in the playwrights community about the um workshop hell, like the idea like there was an article in the Dramatist Guild magazine the other, like, I think last month about workshop hell and like just these plays that get stuck in the cycle of being developed and developed and developed and developed and developed every regional theater in the company has done a reading or a, or a, a workshop of this play that never actually sees the stage and I think the new initiative that Jeremy's really pushing forward that was start, started by Polly Carl was to partner with theater companies to help push these wonderful works that we're helping to develop into actual production and move them along so playwrights can make a living so that work does get produced and new work is seen.